A citywide carnival is in progress. Attractions being a circus. A boy and his little sister stop at the circus tent. The biggest circus around! Step right up! See it for yourselves! The greatest circus of all time! Enjoy a once in a lifetime chance! Thrills! Spills! Come on, come on! Wow, how wonderful! Brother, can we see it? The circus looks interesting. But I'm short of money. Too bad! Okay, Zeris, I'm not voice acting this. Why is it, why do we don't need the story to thank you? This is a dramatic reveal of the title. Uh, welcome back to every NES game. I'm Slider, and this time we're looking at Circus Caper. That creepy thing. Ah, run away! Oh god. A mysterious clown, more like a terrifying one. Where's his eyes? No, don't try for your luck. This terrifying clown. Seriously, people think Pennywise is scary? Look at this thing. Ugh. Staring in your soul. Entrance of Tenth. Oh, thank you. I never would have guessed. How spooky! What's the matter? I'm not calling you that. No one knows who you are. Uh... Wha what? <laughs> Shucks! You can't have her! Shucks! My sister's been kidnapped! Shucks! What is this? Oh, god dang it. Anyway, there's another platformer where you hit things. Surprise. This one's a bit interesting. Well, it's a circus environment, and they do weird things with it. We have to jump at the right time to those, uh, crocodiles. And the items that they drop start sort of fly in the air. Brick. Other interesting thing is really is that you can jump super high for whatever reason. Got a lot of items and cake, which we heals a bit of our health. We do have a lot of health, which is a good thing, but you'll see why in a second. See, we fell through because of the bad timing, and it instantly game overs us. At least we don't have to see all that story again. And we entered here. Let's take a rest! Why don't we play a carnival game? <laughs> Let's take a rest! I'll avoid the fire! 
This is resting, right? Why are we also playing with the bear? Why is there a bear? What is going on? Ah, oh, shucks! I've got third degree burns! Yeah. So I'd like to give uh, the real secret to this game. It's absurdly, unfairly difficult. It actually almost controls well in a way. And you can kind of get used to some of the quirks about it, but like... It's not that fun to play. It's actually annoying to play. Because you have their tiny weapon, or fist, or whatever. And it's... While well, I'm doing well, it's way too easy to get hit. Which is probably why... In theory, it's why you have a bunch of health, but that's ruined by the fact that you only have one life. Anyway, yeah, as you could tell, uh, we use an item, we use the block to... that we could just set, and we can use the jump higher. So for this part, we have a... for some reason we have a jetpack, I don't know. Instead of, like, holding, you have to rapidly press the button to s jump in the air. It's like, infinite double jump more than, like, a jetpack, really. This could be fun, but, like, it's annoying, look! It takes so long just to get through that little passage. Like that one section before with the crocodiles, you, you, you didn't see all the times I failed. That... It's really annoying. Like, sometimes those enemies weren't even, like... You know, uh... Sometimes the crocodiles won't even spawn in correctly. So either the timing will be off and you can't actually do it, or they just won't spawn in. And here's, I guess, a boss. We lost our jetpack because I don't know. It's a really, really, really miserable bag of... I don't know, baseballs? I don't think I want to ask. Thought rabbit attacking it, rapidly attacking it would work. It did not. The best part is... Now we have to start the beginning again. Screw this game.